Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. Speak truth in love. This is spiritual warfare. This takes us to my, the second claim. You hear these activists, my body, my choice, except for the vaccine. I guess that didn't apply to that, right? But you hear them yell, it's a woman's right to choose. So let's break that verbiage down a little bit. A right to choose what? They want the right to choose to kill their child. If you do not want to become pregnant, follow God's other law. It's called abstinence. Well, I, I know, Pastor, what, but, 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 but what about rape? We're going to talk about that here in a minute. But this takes us to our next argument as to when does life begin? Pro-abortion advocates have no concrete answer. None. They don't know. There's no agreement in their camp. In 1973, when Roe v. Wade was decided, how many of you know science was very different then? You have more power in your cell phone than they had to put the first Apollo on the moon. Science has come a long way. They pretty much claimed a child was a mass of tissue until somewhere in the third trimester. However, now a heartbeat and brain activity can be detected as early as four to six weeks of pregnancy before many women even realize that they're with child. So now here's the question. So now who's the science deniers? However, we as Bible believers, we know that life begins in the womb at conception. I have three scriptures, Psalm 139, that slide, if you could put that up there, Caleb, which reads, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Next one, please. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed you where? In the womb. I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Lastly, Luke chapter 1. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby, John the Baptist, began to dance when Jesus entered in the womb of Mary. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. Those are children inside that womb. They were having a belly party. Come on, somebody. Jesus was in Elizabeth, or in Mary, and John was in Elizabeth. Jesus entered into his, in his mother's womb, and John began to get happy. Come on. Did you know, listen to this. The womb in a woman is the only organ that is explicitly and uniquely designed for another human being. It's specifically created for the next generation. It's amazing to me. If you disturb a sea turtle's nest and break an egg, break an egg, you can be fined $200,000, but yet we kill children. As stated earlier, it's now legal in the state of New York to kill a child minutes before it takes its first breath. The previous governor of Virginia, thank God he's gone, wanted to pass a bill to be able to murder the child after the birth while the mother and the doctor consulted. Some states right now, listen, some governors right now today want to extend abortion even up to seven to 28 days after the birth. Church, this is infanticide. Do you see the slippery slope of this wicked generation? How long, listen, will it be if something like that should pass? How long will it be before a special needs child, that they're discovered they're a special needs child at the age of two or three? Uh, 
do away with them, put them down like a dog. You know what, you might think I'm crazy, but in 1973, if they told us then that they would be killing a baby minutes before its birth, oh, that would never happen, but yet today it's happening. Listen, be mindful who you vote for. Know where they stand. I'm not telling you how to vote, what to vote. That is between you, my friend, and Almighty God. Because each one of us will answer for our own actions. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ To every nation, every generation To all creation to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ